Mark Schaefer at JTEC Diesel Institute Technology. What we're going to be doing is running down a 7-pin trailer pigtail. This is this piece that actually plugs into your trailers. We've established our coordinates for all the wires and our voltage. So you will just coordinate the plug same as the little stop on top. What we have here is a power probe. We're going to be using that today instead of a volt ohm meter. What you do is you'll connect it between negative and positive. Test your meter on either side, which will give us a good ground and a good battery voltage at 12.1. That gives us a reference. On our trailer plug, starting on the top, we're going to do a ground. And then on our first pin, which will reference to a clock at 11 o'clock, is black. And that will be our clearance lights which we'll go ahead and have our cab guy go ahead and cut our lights on. We got 11.9. All right, so now we're gonna move to our middle plug, which is gonna be our auxiliary that'll run to the trailer for anything such as lift gates or signals for uh, reaper units, which is refrigeration. Next, we're gonna run to our yellow, which is our left turn signal, and have our operator hit the left turn signal. And it's gonna pulsate, showing that the uh, flasher relay is operating correctly. And we do have lights on the truck flashing to the left signal. All right, so we're gonna move now to our six o'clock position, which is gonna be a red. And that'll be our stop lamps. And we'll have our operator hit the brake pedal twice. So we got one, two, and we got a draw of 12 volts. Here it is, we're show the stop lamps that we're operating. All right, so now we'll keep on moving around to our right side, green. We'll have our operator operate right side signal. Right side. right side signal is operating and flashing, showing that our right side flasher is operating correctly. We're also going to have our cameraman show the right side of the ice right. So now we're going to run to our last plug, which is going to be our brown wire. And it's going to be our actual truck lights. So we'll have our operator operate the headlights. It was going to kick on and give us a draw of 11.9. And once again, it does operate all the lights around the truck. Once you're done checking your trailer plug, go ahead and re-secure it. Back into the area, disconnect your probe, and put the battery box back on. So that's how you check a 7-pin plug on a trailer.